In this video, we're going to learn how to give the player, say, a bullet every second, and they can fire them as often as they want, but they'll only replenish once a second. So in the player object, we're going to go into Create. So when this starts, I'm actually just going to give them a, um, a bullet. So let's go down to, I think it's Control. There it is. So I'm going to set my variable, which is one that I've used in other videos, Global Fire, and I'm going to set that to 1. So they start the game with that, and then I'm going to set a timer. So there we go, we'll use timer 0, and it will go off once a second. So far, so good. Now, what happens when that goes off? Well, when alarm 0 goes off, I'm just going to increase the value of their variable, and I think that's in the control thing. So I'm going to increase it relative by 1. And of course, I need to type in the name of the variable too. Global fire. I think I called it global fire. I'll just go back and check in a tick. So global fire, yep, goes up by one, and that goes up every second. So I'll just go back and check that I've used uh, global fire. Correct. Now that's all well and good, but it's a little bit hard to keep track of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and using this specially created object called projector object, and you'll see why it's specially created in a minute, I'm going to add this thing called draw as an event. Now, draw is a very special event. All it does is it puts a value on the screen, but it also makes itself invisible. So this has a sprite, but it doesn't matter what the sprite is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that variable, which, as we know, is called global.fire. And I'm actually not going to make it relative. I'm going to put it in the top of the screen at 1010. So right now, this actually doesn't influence firing at all. I just want you to see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's up there in the top corner, and it's ticking over once a second, and the value is getting bigger and bigger, except it's not. Aha, I know what I did wrong. Let's have a look. So back here in the player object, when the alarm goes off, it did, in fact, make it go up but it didn't start the timer again. So we give you another bullet and then we start the timer again. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, there we go. And now it's continuing to count up. Excellent. So let's learn how to use those bullets. So now in the player object, when they want to fire, and let's give them a nice simple mechanism, like using the space bar. When they want to fire, it's going to check so it's going to check this variable. The variable, as we know, is called global fire. And if it is greater than zero, so in other words, if they have some ammunition, then I'm going to do the following things in the brackets. Well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fire. So I'm going to create my object. That's the key action that I'm interested in. I'm going to create a bullet object. I'm going to create it relative to myself. I'm going to put it a little bit up. So up at minus 16. I'm going to give it a speed. So let's say 15. And I'm going to set it a direction. And to go straight up, that direction is 90. So it creates the object. But then what it's going to do is it's going to bring down that variable a bit so that we've spent that bullet. So I just do the opposite of what I did before. I'm going to say relative but this time it's going to be relative minus 1, which means whatever it is, take away 1. So global.fire. Okay, let's see this all in action and see what mistakes I've made. Okay, so there's my bullets, and I've got four bullets, one, two, three, four, and I can't fire until it goes up again. But then I can sit here for a bit, get some bullets, and send off a burst off them. So there you go. Uh, actually, one last thing that I'm going to do on this, you don't have to do this, this is something I'm just choosing to do, is over here where I'm projecting it, I um, don't really like to have to look into different corners of the screen to see what's going on. So I'm actually going to project this relative to where the player is. So I think it's called player underscore object. And now I'm going to have it plus... Um, so I put player object X, so that's the X value of where the player object is. <clears throat> and I'm going to have it a little bit further out, so plus 16. And I'm going to have player object Y 
dot y, and that tells you how far it is from the top of the screen, and I can have that one as minus 16. So what I'm hoping here, yep, then no, that doesn't need to be relative. So I'm hoping that my number of bullets will actually follow my player around so that I can keep an eye on it without having to notice that it's up there in the corner of the screen. Some people like this, some people don't. Okay, there we go. So as you see, I can keep an eye on that as I'm moving around. So I hope that's useful to you.